Ooh, I do love this bit. One, two, three. Come, boom. <laughs> There. Problem solved. The Doctor is never satisfied, though. I'd already saved his precious little planet, but now he wanted me to help him save a handful of useless humans, too. As much as I like the idea of seeing you pummeled from above, you might want to watch out. Easy there. Leave some for the rest of us. Ah, Paris! City of romance. City of art. C well, that was invigorating. I can see now why he likes this sort of thing. But that's enough playing now. You see, the thing is, Doctor, this time... I need your help. It was a classic. A relic of another time and place. A beautiful Type 40 TARDIS. His beautiful Type 40 TARDIS. Or at least the one he'd stolen all those many moons ago. I took a deep breath as I placed my hand on the door. I loved the smell of the old machine, the gentle vibration of the wood. It reminded me of so many adventures, back when we'd both worn different faces, back when we were different people altogether. Asking the doctor for help wasn't something that came easily to me. In fact, the very idea of it turned my stomach. On rare occasions, though, one has to swallow one's pride. Even if it does have a tendency to stick in one's throat. It wasn't something that seemed to sit well with the doctor either. I could tell that he thought I was up to something. Perhaps I was. But this was one of those rare moments, and we'd had a few over the years where our interests temporarily appeared to align. Not that he knew it yet. Well, he said, with a disapproving glare. Well, I can't say I like what you've done with the place. Where are all the roundels? And the hat stand? Dear me, Doctor, did you lose all sense of taste when you last changed your face? Missy, said the crotchety old spoilsport, start talking. What's all this about? All right, all right, but you're not going to like it. The thing is, Doctor, I finally found a place where I was happy. The planet Vartigan. A backwater paradise where no one asked any awkward questions and a wee Gallifreyan could find herself getting up to no end of mischief. You should have seen it, Doctor. The schemes I engineered. Keep your eyebrows on. I'm getting to the good stuff. I'd been there for nearly a century when the lights fell out of the sky. 
It was just like Pandorath, during the height of that miserable old time war. Standing there, looking up at these tumbling stars, knowing what would follow, what these lights would bring. The coming of the Daleks. I was minding my own business. Well, minding someone else's business. Torch! Total world domination. <laughs> 